good enough for the defence plane that carries the Prime Minister around the country keeps breaking down? Oh, it is disappointing that it's broken down. It's got a history of uh, those kinds of malfunctions. Um, but we're working on getting it right, and I understand that her itinerary, our Prime Minister's itinerary, has been impacted by it. But working on getting it right is effectively replacing it, isn't it? Uh, eventually they'll need replacing it. When is that going to happen? Uh, that's just something that we're going to have to decide as a Cabinet. We've already decided on quite a large number of new aircraft coming to this country over the next two years. And we're just going to have to have a good hard look at it. So are you saying as part of those aircraft in the next two years is going to be one that the Prime plant can, can no. confidently fly around the world? Well, no, no. The new airplanes I'm talking about are predominantly the new Hercules and the new P-8 Orion. So uh, those are quite a large investment of over $4 billion. And, but I take the point that this particular aircraft is proven problematic in the past for not just this Prime Minister but others uh, and something will need to be done. It's a lot of money um, and I can understand why the government might not want, want, not want to fund it. However, the government did reach cross-party consensus to, to, to grow Parliament, to spend I think $27 million on buildings. Do you think you could reach that sort of cross-party uh, agreement to get something like that done for the Prime Minister? Oh, look, I think uh, for the de Defence Force as a whole, remembering that that particular aircraft isn't just used for the Prime Minister, it's used to transport our people and what I'm quite proud of in particular in the defence portfolio is it's reasonably bipartisan. I talk to my counterpart on the other side of the house on a regular basis and uh, like I say at some point in time we'll have to address that matter. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.